My name is Dr. Heidi Fell, and in this video we're going to learn how to turn a previously saved search into a rule. Now in Wolf, what's the difference between a search and a rule? Well basically they're both searches, but a search is something that you have to pull up and run manually, whereas a rule is a search that runs all by itself every night while you're sleeping, hopefully. And then you can use these rules to generate reminders for the physician when they see a patient or for the staff that a patient is overdue for an intervention. So let's take a search that we have previously saved. So we can either go to the File Open button, which I'll do here, or you can use the little uh, Open File icon. Okay, I have lots of stuff in my database, so we're going to help me find things here by just choosing searches that I'm not sharing with anybody else. And we can see here this is the mammogram search we created in the prior video. So we're going to click on it, and then we're going to click Open at the bottom here. So you can see that it will bring up, after a pause sometimes, uh, of the search that we've previously created. Okay, so in this search we have patients who are between the ages of 50 and 74, whose gender is female, they're not deceased, they're still my active patients, they have not had a bilateral mastectomy, and they do not have a mammogram, and remember how key the keywords are here, um, filed in the last two years. Okay, so we have this rule and we can run it and we can see that I have 20 total patients that are matching that. But how do I act on it? Well I have a couple of choices. One, I can either uh, run the search and print it off and have those people be called and I can do that every month or what I find to be easier is to save it as a rule. So what we can do now is we can go into File, Save Search As Okay, we can give it a different name, so we can now call it, let's call it mammogram rule. Okay, I have to tick this left box here. So basically for a rule, it's the same as a search except every box that touches the left hand side of the screen needs to be filled in. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five areas that need to be filled in. So we give it a name, so my mammogram rule. I click that I want to save it as a rule. Uh, I put in text to display for patients who match the rule. So this is the reminder for the physician or provider that's acting on the rule. And so we can say something like patient overdue for mammogram. And you don't get a whole lot of space for this, so you don't want it to be too long, your text. Okay. So patient overdue for mammogram. Okay. Um, these other categories are generally not used except in special cases, so we'll skip over those and we'll click on active because we really want this rule to be made active and to run every night. And now we're going to click on save as new. Okay, and the rule was saved successfully. So what that means is it's going to run every night and it's going to show in the page, it's going to flag in red one rule matching whenever you look at a patient's uh, chart or their cumulative patient summary. It will also show in your rules in basket. Now one thing to note about rules is that rules are always clinic wide. So even though the search had saved was just for me, this is now saved for all of the physicians in the practice. Okay. If you don't want that to be the case, if you only want one physician or a couple of physicians to be part of the rule at first because you're just starting it and you're trying to manage workflow or not everybody's interested right now, you can add in a primary MD filter. Okay, and we can add so that I want it to be active for myself and so hit the plus button and I want it to be active for Dr. Finvers. We're going to add here, her. Similarly, if we wanted it to be good for everybody except Dr. Finvers and I, we could click on exclude and our patients would be excluded from this, this rule. Okay, but we want just us and I'm going to click on save. Notice that it says it affects everybody in the office. Am I sure? Yes. Okay, so I've now limited the rule to just a couple of physicians in the office. So that's how you convert a search that you run whenever you want to 
to a rule, which is a search that the computer runs for you every night. So every night it checks the data to see who's had a mammogram come in, and those patients will no longer match the rule, or if it's been two years since their last one, they will suddenly start matching the rule. Okay. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.